Uh, now these ones are going to be harder to get out because these ones have a little bit more room to them. These ones are just squa squished in there. All right. So um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I hope this doesn't piss you guys off, but I'm not going to pull them out because it's going to be a pain in the ass. All right. I'm just going to show you. Okay. You know what? I don't want to be mean to you guys, though. All right. Fuck it. Whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. I'm, I might be putting up and down the camera every five seconds, okay? So you're going to have to deal with that, all right? The uh, WWE, you know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a couple DVDs out so I can give you guys a little bit more layaway, okay? So WWE Legendary Moments, not that good of a DVD. I'll be honest, not that good of a DVD. Judgment Day 2009, that came as an extra with the uh, SmackDown 10th Anniversary set. Okay, next up here, we got Backlash 2003. Great DVD. Uh, the greatest cage matches of all time with my boy, Kerry Von Erich, on the cover. It's the only reason I got it. This one right here, the greatest DVD of all time, in my opinion. This DVD, I love this DVD. If I could marry a DVD, and I know that sounds really awkward, but we're just playing around here. We're just having a jokes, having a good time. This is the DVD I marry. This DVD has been the greatest thing ever. If you guys haven't seen this one, oh my god. I, I will do a review of this DVD and I will it'll be longer probably than this video because I have so many good things to say about that DVD. Carrie Von Eric, my favorite of all time. That DVD was the best. Next up here. This one means a lot to me too. It's the Cheating Death Steel Life Eddie Guerrero story. Now, this DVD right here, now I'm just going to take it out because it keeps uh, going back. This DVD, I'm going to do another review for this in the future. This DVD right here, the fact that Eddie, and I, I'm sorry about the glare, okay? I can't do anything about the glare, all right? It's just my phone light so you guys can see things better, all right? The Eddie Guerrero DVD, the fact that he was able to participate in this DVD before he passed away, even though the documentary is short, he took you to Texas, he took you back to his mamacita, or his mom. Um, he showed you the wrestling ring. I mean, there's so many good things. I'm not going to go into all of it. But the one part about this DVD that always gets me whenever I watch it is when Dean Malenko says, I don't want to find my friend dead in a hotel room. Of course, we all know that Eddie, and two days ago, it's the 12-year anniversary. Uh, we all know that Eddie died in a hotel room. Now, Dean Malenko did not find him. That was Chavo Guerrero, unfortunately. But that part always gives me the gives me the chills every time I see that. You know, I mean, Eddie went through a fucking battle, man, to get on top. If you don't have that DVD, I, it's like used on FYE.com for like ten bucks. Get it now. Can't stress that enough. Uh, Eddie, I got this just for the fact that when Eddie won the title against Brock Lesnar, even though it's on this DVD, just having that DVD alone. Now, here's one I don't understand. This one new goes for a lot of money. I would think that the other one goes for a lot of money because this one came out three years after he passed away. Three years after he passed away. <coughs> three years. So, uh, I, I don't really get that, man. I understand the one with the SmackDown show on it going for a lot of money, but the regular 3 disc set? Come on, man. Uh, no Mercy 2005, the only reason I got it was because it was Eddie's last pay-per-view match ever. Here's one that a lot of people say is the greatest documentary of all time. I would agree with you. Just because it's the greatest doesn't mean it's my favorite, because my favorite, that one right there, Triumph of Tragedy, but I will agree that this was the best documentary they ever did. DVD review on that someday soon. Next up, ECW One Night Stand. That came as a part of a double pack. And I'll explain the whole uh, second DVD story on that one. Bloodsport, ECW's most violent matches. Brutal. Uh, I have not watched the documentary on this yet, even though I just got it recently. I, I tested out the second disc, because when I opened it up, disc 2 wasn't properly secured. But thankfully, there's no playback issues. I will watch the documentary, but I guarantee you, this is going to be the great one of the greatest of all time. Here's one that took me many years, along with that Ric Flair Ultimate Collection, to acquire. And I fucking love this one. Born to Controversy, Roddy Piper story. Best heel there ever was, man. I'll get into a DVD review on that someday soon. Okay? Greatest stars of the 80s. DVD. 
Greatest stars of the 90s. I have not bought the 2000s yet, okay? I'm not a particular fan of, uh, of all the DVDs lately. Um, you know, next up here, Kurt Angle, The Essential Collection. Now, I just want to say something quickly. Um, I got a VHS back in March of this year, and I knew when he was going to come back to WWE, they were going to put out a DVD or a Blu-ray for him, which is this one right here, The Essential Collection. Uh, but it wasn't available then, so that's why I got the Kurt Angle VHS all right, so when that time comes around, uh, the history of the WWE Championship and the little things fell out of the uh, things you can see right there. History of the Intercontinental and the history of the World Heavyweight Championship. Gemini Nye, as he said in one video. This one pisses him off, man, and uh, I can agree, I can understand why, but it, to me, I'm not an old school fan. I wasn't born back then, you know. Uh, WrestleMania 20. Now, this one right here, I have to, I have to kind of brag about this one this one has the cool ass cover first of all it's got that cool cover that you could do this with you know the cool as hell i gotta show you guys something because usually this is a three disc set usually with most collectors when they get the set they only get three discs right not me let's take a look and i hope that this doesn't hurt your feelings i have a bonus disc of the very first episode of Monday Night Raw. It doesn't get better than that, people. Nothing is cut out of it. There are exclusives that you can only get on the DVD. The only thing about the DVD that pisses me off uh, is that the WWF, they were still having troubles with the World Life, World Life, Found World Life, World Life <coughs> Foundation. And... Uh, they uh, couldn't use that name. They couldn't use the WWF. They could say World Wrestling Federation, but they couldn't use WWF, so they blurred it out. But hey, you know what? It's okay. It's also on the network as well. I'm I'm hooked, okay? I've got the cool cover, and I've also... Now, the SmackDown one does not have a bonus disc, which I don't understand that. They should have done the same thing for the SmackDown one. But to my knowledge, there is not um, one for the SmackDown. And here's the SmackDown, which also... I got the cool cover with. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Next one here we've got is the Stone Cold Truth. Short DVD, but pretty good. Legacy of Stone Cold. This was just match compilations, but made up because they came out with the Stone Cold Blu-ray, which I'll talk about later on. Macho Man, Randy Savage. This one always gets me annoyed because I think that WWE could have fixed their problems uh, with Macho Man. And they could have done the documentary on this DVD. This is just a match compilation, which is okay. But the thing that pisses me off is that the story was done after he passed away. Whenever the wrestlers are alive, the stories are much better than when they're dead. Although there are some exceptions. The, the, uh, the Macho Man DVD or Blu-ray... Uh, I don't have the new one, um, although I've seen the documentary on the network. That one's really good. I don't I haven't seen the Owen one, but obviously that was made years after he passed away, and that one's pretty good from what I've heard. The Brian Pillman one was fantastic. Mr. Perfect was really good, but it could have been better if those guys were actually there to participate in the actual DVD. Next up, here's another one I got signed by a uh, wrestler right over there. And that is Mick Foley, the hardcore edition of the greatest hits and misses. Get the hardcore edition because there is a regular to this set, uh, which is kind of a ripoff that WWE would do. That's kind of bullshitty that they would do that. Get the hardcore set if you don't have that one. Here's another one. Uh, Hawk had passed away, I think, two years before this production. Animal was there. Talk about the story. Uh, Could have been better with Hawk in it, but it was still good because at least one of them was there. Uh, the Dusty Roads. I this is another one. I need a new disc one for because it's scratched the hell can't play it although i need to see it on network um just haven't gotten around to it next up here we've got the championship edition of wrestlemania 3 to this set the very best of wcw uh monday night war now with those volumes of the wcw monday night uh monday nitro uh they all came out on blu-ray except for this one this one's dvd exclusive only Next up, WrestleMania 22. I bought a used at FYE. Somebody fucking ripped the top off. That doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, WrestleMania 23. The three-disc Ultimate Edition set. Here's one that pisses Gemini off with the Hulk Hogan being a number uh, 23, I believe. And I also have a backup for Heroes of World Class, which comes as cool cover slip, and it's sealed. 
you know sorry that my finger keeps getting in the way in the camera and all that i'm trying my best here okay come on camera don't do this to me right now all right i don't think that everything was out of focus but i'll just run through it very quickly of all the dvds that it could have been out of focus for um yeah this is gonna be long ass video it's, it's gonna take forever to upload oh probably won't be till like 10 o'clock at night that this thing will finally finish it yeah you you get the point all right moving on to the bottom here we have got another uh backup set of the triumph and tragedy of world class championship wrestling uh this one actually came as a figure exclusive with my stone cold and rock uh figure that's just a 20 minute dvd includes uh their dx uh <coughs> in your house 1997 match which is only like 10 minutes um really cool though you know really cool here's one now here's the one exception this one does have a blu-ray to it i need to get that blu-ray but i only have the dvd for it undertaker the streak okay now here are some vhs's i've got uh because stone cold said so vhs i've seen the dvd but i already had the vhs uh austin and mcmahon very hard dvd to get and vhs as well kind of pricey my friend gave that to me for free thank you Derek very much all right uh the blu-rays keep falling but whatever WWF action one of my favorite VHS's I've got that one's fantastic uh the Royal Rumble 2004 when Benoit won the Royal Rumble controversy to this day Summer uh, SummerSlam Survivor Series 2004 VHS and uh the big show Giants World, which I watched the documentary on the network because it's better quality than the DVD. Okay, um, yeah, so hang on one second. Um, everything just kind of fell over in place. Here's uh, some Blu-rays I got. I want. I plan on getting many more, but here's what I got. Uh, WrestleMania <clears throat> 26 Blu-ray, which actually, this one's really cool because it actually has the Raw and SmackDown episodes. This is Blu-ray exclusive only. Can't get this with the DVD, uh, but, um, you get uh, the Raw, Shawn Michaels' last Raw match against Kane, and the SmackDown before WrestleMania 26. I wish they would have done that with all the WrestleMania sets. It's only, uh, I believe, 2010 they did that, although somebody correct me if I'm wrong. SummerSlam 2010, when they buried the Nexus, were bad decision. Uh, the best of SmackDown 2009, 2010. Best of Raw 2010. So, uh, the Royal Rumble. Uh, 2011 this one comes with the blu-ray and the dvd as well i wish they would have done that also that would have been cool as hell you know although you know once you have the blu-ray what do you need the dvd for but that's a nice little touch to it true story of wrestlemania fantastic uh wrestlemania 27 i only really got it because it's high definition and edge's last match and that taker and under that taker and the undertaker taker and um that uh triple h match fantastic uh, ladder match two crash and burn blu-ray here's the first blu-ray i ever got stone cold uh the bottom line when he was commentating with jim ross on his wrestlemania 17 match against the rock doesn't get better than that this one i mainly got because of cm punk's pipe bomb in high definition yeah buddy uh the rock the epic journey to win the rock johnson Ooh, i know that hurts you wrestling rampage uh the uh think you don't be the story of edge fantastic underrated Blu-ray and or and or DVD fan.